Hey everybody, welcome back to GWN. I am Noctare, your host. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Team Med, and that's uh, tanks and medics. And I got a bunch of replays. They're all at max level, but uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, you run Team Med pretty much the same regardless of, of what level you're at. It's just whether you have more or less tanks, and I guess that kind of de you know decides how you're going to deploy. But in the end, the basic deployment is still the same. You run a line of tanks with weaker troops behind them, typically the medics, and then you just kind of plow through the base. Uh, these first two replays have a Sky Dome up, and i got to say, as much as I love the Sky Dome, I think it's a really cool-looking prototype defense. I don't know why anybody runs it, because since it doesn't come down to the ground, it's just, there's no real value to it. I mean, maybe if you put it further back or something, but I see a lot of people running right up on the beach like this one, and I don't see the point of that. Just like putting a grappler underneath it. I don't know why you would do that either, because you're just going to pull whatever underneath it and right into it. You can always throw down a shock bomb, like you saw me do here, and I'll, I think I'll do it in the next one, to take out whatever's down there underneath it just by, you know, getting close to the Sky Dome. So even there, it, it doesn't have a wide enough spread to protect what's underneath it. And you end up zipping right through the base as if it really wasn't even there. So I don't know. But, um,. Moving on, moving on. We're going to talk about the tanks here first. So you unlock tanks at HQ 11. The medic unlocks at HQ 15. So even though you technically could put one tank on a level 4 landing craft, I'm hoping that by the time you get to the point of unlocking the tank, you actually have more landing craft than that. Um, I think it's uh, see, HQ 12, you get your 6th landing craft, and uh, 16, you get your 7th. So... Ideally, by the time you actually get the tanks, you've got five landing craft. You're probably going to run just all tanks at first, and it works pretty well at that point because they're they are strong enough to to kind of plow through and uh, do their thing. But it isn't until you get to HQ 12 and upgrade the landing craft to, le to level 12 that you can put two on there. And likewise, you can't even do team med until you get to HQ 15, so that you get the medic. So, working all this out, Team Med is probably best started at HQ 16 when you have 7 landing craft, although you can use it with just 6, it works just fine, and, um, you know, you can work your way uh, up on the levels for your, uh, your tanks and your medics. I actually start using it almost exclusively right away. As soon as I, as soon as I get it and I can set it up on 5 landing craft with just tanks, and then as soon as I get the medic, I'll take 1 and put the medic in it. It, it works great for me, especially against a lot of these uh, the NPC bases, but even the the lower level players that you see at that point. So, uh, the comp at the higher levels are typically however many minus two that you've got on landing craft. So the, the two landing craft will take on the medics, and then the rest of them will be tanks. And that's what you see me running here in each one of these replays. Um, how many for uh, for the layout? So. I usually decide my layout depending upon the hero that I'm running. Now, I don't run Sergeant Brick with these, although I guess you could. I've never been a big fan of her. But early on, I do run Dr. Cabin, and I put him behind the tank. So the tanks go in first, then Dr. Cabin. And then when I get the medics, I usually have Everspark by then, and she also goes in behind. But when I get Bullet later on, that's a different story. With Bullet... You want him to be in front of the tanks to draw some of the fire. You see, the biggest threats to your tanks in any one of these is going to be the shock launcher because the bug zapper is going to stop you. And, of course, the boom cannons because they do so much damage to the tanks themselves. Uh, a higher level boom cannon can wipe out a lower level tank in nothing flat. And, I mean, you get the boom cannons fairly early on in the game, so you've got a pretty good strong defense there that you can use right off the very bat. So when you're first starting off, the boom cannon is your, your biggest problem, followed by the uh, by the shock launcher, the bug zapper, as I like to call it, very quickly thereafter. Between the two, and even with the regular canner, cannons, if uh, they manage to get your tank stopped, you're going to be in trouble. So you definitely want to take those out first. And the very first thing I do in any one of my attacks is use the barrage to hit those shock launchers and try to take them down. 
Once I've got those down, you'll see me use the shock bombs to maybe, uh, you know, stun the, uh, uh, the boom cannons and sometimes even the rocket launchers and the regular cannons just to kind of slow down what's hitting the tanks and give them a chance to rejuvenate with those uh, medics behind them. So that, that's kind of, the, that's kind of the, the way that I run this attack, just to, just to plow it through. Right now we've got the ability to boost some stuff on the tanks, uh, the speed for example, and um, I like to boost my statues a little bit as well. Once every week I boost all my statues, and between those and the boost that you get from the Islanders, I, I usually go in and clear the entire map, my entire uh, archipelago from, from A to Z of any enemy bases whatsoever. And of course that generates enough resources for me to do a bunch of upgrades. But it's just, I don't know, there's something nice about looking at your archipelago and seeing nothing but blue everywhere. No red, no, uh, no mercenaries, no NPC bases, no, uh, no anything, no Dr. T or Hammerman or whoever. And uh, the tanks are really good for that. You know, I've, I've been playing a lot with Scorchers lately, but <clears throat> definitely uh, loving my, my good old-fashioned T-Med to run through it. Works good for Dr. T's as well. Whether, uh, you know, whichever one of the islands it is, it comes up. You just, again, you form up your offensive line and you kind of plow through. And that's really, that's the gist of how the strat works, because you form up a line. In each one of these replays, you'll see there's a line of tanks working their way up through the base. Now, I'll sometimes drop a flare to bring them back together or move them away from a particular region of heavy threat where there's a lot of defenses that are going to cause them a, a ton of grief. But generally speaking, for the main part, I let them spread out and just plow the base. And by allowing them to plow the base, I'm able to knock out yeah, a fair amount of it before uh, really losing too terrible many tanks. Right now I'm playing kind of with Reckless Abandon because I went ahead and signed up for that $10 a month deal where you get instant troop uh, regeneration. And I got to tell you, that that's awesome. Supercell, if you're listening, we really need that over on Clash of Clans. And, I mean, the way it works, you still have to put your resources out there, so you still got to get the gold. But whenever you tap to uh, uh, add troops to your landing craft, they're immediately there. There's no wait times anymore. And, yeah, it costs 10 bucks a month, but when you think about it, you know, what's $10 a month for a game that you play hours upon hours every week? You know, the, the entertainment costs are really, they're very low. Some people spend that just on a single coffee at Starbucks, for crying out loud. So I don't mind spending a few dollars to enjoy something. If we had that over on Clash, man, you'd never be able to get me off. That would be all I would ever play. I'd absolutely love it. And I've been having a blast doing it over here on Boom uh, Beach as well because there just ain't nothing that beats being able to jump right in and play right away. So there you have it. That's Team Med. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, comments, questions down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I'm going to head on out and start playing some other games. I'll talk at you later. Bye-bye.